Hello, welcome back. Um, this time I'll be doing a unboxing of the second box of the Dwarf King's Hold range, uh, the uh, Green Menace. So, nice cover art again. Um, like I said before in the last video, Dwarf King's Hold is a mantic game in association with River Horse uh, Games. Sorry about the erms, but I'm just reading this as I go along. So, inside this box, of course, we have got. For those who know board games and stuff like that, um, it's a very, very packed box. It's a lot thinner than the other box, than the uh, Dead Rising box. But for those who know about, uh, what was I saying about Mantic? Oh, I've completely lost my train of thought. Okay, um, instruction manual. Oh, that was what I was going to say. Um, for those who are familiar with Games Workshop's products, this is incredibly similar to their um, Hero Quest range or Warhammer Quest range, which was a dungeon exploring game. This is essentially the same thing. Like Project Pandora is Mantic's version of Space Hulk. And in my opinion is better than Space Hulk because it's more balanced and the scenarios seem better and it's got a scenario creator in it. Models maybe. Not as good as Games Workshop's custom miniatures that they did for it, but they're good nonetheless. So this has um, the Green Menace invasion in there. Lots of fluff about what the Green Menace is. Obviously we know it's Orcs, but um, you've also got a set of scenarios in here. These follow on from the scenarios in Dead Rising, by the way. So these are 7, 8, 9, and I don't know why it goes to 12, but I'll have to look that up. Oh, it's because I've turned two pages over. Um, yep, yeah, that goes up to 12. So. This one, we have our... These are some elf spearmen. I'll just zoom in on this. Let's see if we get a bit closer. There we go. So, essentially, mostly one-piece models. You just have to attach their arms. Like, for the... Uh, the dwarfs, you've got the little um, rat dog and the pug, or bulldog. There's the saber-toothed cat the elves get. So you always get like something little on there. Their musicians play like a little harp. They are your classic elves, skinny and lanky. As you would come to expect from an elf. Uh, I believe these are elf bowmen. Yep, elf bowmen. On this sprue. Don't understand why that shield looks like that, but I think it's meant to look like that. But also very useful in uh, Warhammer fantasy battles. You could substitute some of your standard Warhammer elves, bowmen for a unit of those. I wouldn't mind. Uh, this is a Orc Axe Troop. A little bit smaller sprues now, so I'll zoom in a bit more on these. Again, like Warpath, these Orc sprues are almost exactly the same. This piece is the same on these ones and on the Warpath ones, this piece here at the bottom. This piece here is different. Obviously, with them being space ones, they're carrying guns and stuff, but these guys are carrying axes. And they've got, um, instead of having like a little dog or a cat or whatever, these guys have got like a little, uh, a little grot or a snotling, whether Grot is trademarked by Games Workshop, I don't know. But there's a couple of these little guys on here, one of them's pulling a Mooney. And the other guy looks like he's splatted because he's flat on the back. Uh, another sprue the same. Then we've got this one, this one is oh, Great Axes. So this one has two on it, these carrying halberds, armoured, more more heavily armoured, nice, nice artwork on their armour plates. No, I thought the camera's going to pick that up. Very nice details, as well as there's a little armoured snotling or grot or whatever you want to call them things. Also we get some, more, some dice in this set, this time they're white ones. And then we have our pack of tiles. Zoom out a little bit on that and crack these tiles open and let you have a look at these ones as well. If I can find the thing on them. There it is. Just 
over there. Okay, so first of all, something that resembles an armory or a courtyard, corridors, etc. Um, not entirely sure what these are. These are injured markers, these things along here. We have some more corridors and something that looks like a part of a mine system with a track. Some more corridors. Um, and that resembles sort of a cavern or a storage room. Uh, some more corridors with gold pieces on. The printing on these is really nice. I'm not sure what this room's meant to be. I think it's meant to be sort of a corridor with an emblem on it, maybe. It's meant to be an elven stronghold. And the orcs are invading them, as they do, because they like to pillage. More corridor sections. And then we have our packet, uh, our set of tokens again. The These ones are your elf tokens. These ones are your orc tokens. We have some treasure tokens here. Uh, these two are treasure tokens, but they're worthless. Uh, green, green rage markers. Not a clue what they're for. Uh, weak spot counters. And this one is a cavern. A cavern in. Ca oh, cave in. Sorry, my reading upside down here so that is the uh, green menace box so last next one up that i'll be doing will be the unboxing of their expansion which is the ancient grudge which is no longer in production anymore or they haven't got any in stock either which way at the mantic website but you can still pick them up from independent stockists and things like that so that's uh, the green menace until the next one see you soon